Well, Carmel police say that Anthony Johnson didn't have a record, had never been arrested until July. And while he was out on bail awaiting trial, he was arrested again. Prosecutors are now pushing to have that bail revoked. Here in this quiet East Carmel neighborhood where signs warn we watch out for each other, a former neighbor known as Mr. Tony is accused of betraying that trust. 51-year-old Anthony S. Johnson is behind bars in Hamilton County for the second time in less than a year on child molestation charges. Police arrested Johnson in early March for allegedly fondling an 8-year-old girl while at her parents' home for a dinner party, there with his wife, mother, and children. According to court documents, while the girl was in another room, Johnson came to say goodbye and placed his hands down the victim's shirt twice before stopping. The probable cause also referred to previous incidents, with the girl saying she was comfortable sitting on Johnson's lap until he moved his hand close to her private part, and then it was weird. The allegations come as Johnson was out on bond pending trial on similar charges. Last summer, Carmel police arrested him on seven counts child molestation and two counts criminal confinement following a pool party in the same neighborhood. Three girls ages 8, 9, and 10 say while in the pool and a playroom, Johnson touched them inappropriately. Court documents say in one incident, he held them down by their legs and slid his hand under their underwear and touched their genital area again. Prosecutors have filed a motion to revoke Johnson's bond, arguing he violated a condition of his current release and that he poses a risk to others and the community. And his attorneys do not want that bail revoked. Their motion argues that he holds a full-time job, is financially responsible for his family, and would agree to home detection or wearing an electronic monitoring system. That hearing, by the way, is set for tomorrow. John and Andrea.